DJ, I noticed that you uh, seem to be the camp leader in uh, stripped ball attempts, whether it's on the sideline or after a play. Is, is that something you picked up with this Saints defense, or is that something you brought with you uh, um, from, you know, where did you pick that up? Um, well, I, I, I brought it with me. Um, I picked it up um, back, uh, I guess I say, I say year two. Um, I forced about three or four forced fumbles, but um, I cre we created a habit on that team my second year um, and just punching the ball out after that season. We led the league in um, forced turnovers, so um, that's sort of, sort of kind of the mindset here as well, just trying to find ways to, to get the ball out, um, whether it's punching the ball, whether it's picking the ball off. Um, that is the formula that Coach um, Coach Allen wants, and um, we just making sure we do what he we ask, he asking us to do. So that's where that comes from. And I also wanted to ask you about your uh, Week One opponent. I know you guys haven't installed or really scouted, but what are your impressions of what to expect from Tom Brady and a Bruce Arians offense? Be, be ready for anything, I guess. Yeah, I'm most definitely ready for. Um, you know, knowing B.A., I played two years with under, under Coach Bruce Aarons. You know, I got a lot of respect for Coach. Um, um, Coach loves to throw the ball. You know, he, you know, I think he has the quarterback that he really wants. And Tom Brady um, to take the, the deep ball shots. Um, Brady still can throw the ball deep. You know, they got some deep receivers, Pro Bowl receivers. Um, Gronk at tight end, you know, some back. So um, they have, you know, they pass the eye test pretty well. Um, we 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 just getting ready to do whatever we need to do as as a secondary as a defense to keep those guys contained and um, try to get a win. Next question is from Amy Just. Yeah, uh, this secondary uh, emphasizes position flexibility. Uh, I mean, we saw it last year with PJ playing three different positions in one game. But to you, what makes that what makes y'all so dangerous because of that position flexibility? I mean, it makes us very dangerous because, you know, everybody can play anywhere. And, and when you have that as a secondary, it makes you very versatile. Um, us, us being a versatile secondary, we can confuse a lot of quarterbacks. Um, we can play um, a lot of, lot of different guys at different places, and it just confuses the quarterback. It gives them a lot of different looks. And um, we all have different games as well. So, um, you know, you, any one of us can go out there and get the job done, and that's that's great um, when you're trying to build a Super Bowl team. Have you played in the defense that emphasizes it this much? Yes, I have. Um, um, when in Arizona, um, my, a couple years I was there, um, my my second year there, we, we, we emphasized just taking the ball away. And we ended up being the number two defense, so it's, it's definitely able – to be done if you put your mind to it and everybody buys into it to um, be the most stingiest defense out there, it can be done. Next question is from John DeShazer. Uh, DJ, now that you've had some extensive time in this defense and had a training camp, just assess how you feel like you've performed this training camp. Seems like you've been around the ball a ton, but your assessment on how you've been in this training camp. Uh, I feel like I've, I've done a great job, um, especially be, it being my first training camp here, just learning. Um, the way of how the Saints practice, the way that uh, Coach D.A. wants everything ran, um, the way uh, my DB coach, Coach uh, Aaron, wants everything ran. And it's been a great competitive camp. I feel like I've made some plays, um, definitely been around the ball. I try to touch the ball every chance I get, so um, just to get that habit and get the conditioning. So I think I'll give myself a, um, a good camp. But, um, you know, now it's time to get into real football and real – um, game planning, man, and that's where I think my strong point is, you know, game planning, um, seeing it on film, um, making the corrections, um, communicating, and, you know, breaking the team down and, and getting the job done. I would imagine the chemistry back there has improved for you guys. Has it improved or, you know, pretty much carried over from last season? Um, it's definitely improved. You know, we got different people in different spots now. So um, the communication has definitely um, elevated. You know, we got a lot of experience. You know, you got a 12-year vet um, and um, Malcolm. You got P-Rob, 11 years. You got uh, Jack Rabbit with nine, and I got eight in myself. So with, with us four, along with the experience that, um, you know, the guys that have been here for four four and five years, you know, it, it, it's, it's a, it brings a lot of talent. It brings a lot of chemistry um, and experience that you can't really coach. So 
um, that's always a plus, man. And um, the chemistry, you know, it always it always helps the talent win. Question from Amos Morrell. Yeah, DJ, do you feel like you, because you were able to have a training camp with the team this year, uh, do you feel like you got more comfortable in the defense? Yeah, I'm most definitely more comf comfortable in the defense. You know, um, your confidence comes from your repetition and your practice reps. And, um, you know, without those competition and practice reps, you don't have as much conf confidence, you know. But um, with those reps, you know, that you gain experience, you know, you can get all, you get all your mistakes out of the way and count. Uh, you know how you have to play certain routes or certain calls. And um, you just get the feel from, you know, you get the feedback from the coaches, coaching you right or wrong. Um, you, you, you get the whole full circle. And um, I think this training camp has been great for, for me and for, every, for the coaches to see what I bring to the table and for everybody else as well. Next question is from Luke Johnson. Hey, DJ, kind of related. Um, just considering the way last year went for you, uh, playing with, with three different teams, mm -hmm. did that like, kind of change your mentality, your mindset at all, uh, kind of going into a season, um, just to, thinking about you know, making a squad and all that stuff? No, nah, it never, it never, it never changed my mindset. My mindset is always to be the best football player I possibly can be and the best teammate that I possibly can be. Um, last year was just, you know, a rocky season. It was a learning season for me. You know, it, um, you know, all transpired from a few, few things happening. But, um, you know, you, you, this is a new year. That's in the past. You know, I'm looking forward to doing what I need to do and helping the Saints win on whatever, whatever area they need me in. And um, that's the focus. And you know, we want to be the best football player I can possibly be. Next question is from Mike Triplett. DJ, just to follow up on what I was asking before, from a, a defensive back's perspective, what is the greatest challenge of going against Tom Brady? Um, your greatest challenge is to uh, disguise. Um, he knows every he knows every coverage. Uh, so uh, he's a smart guy. He's been doing it 20 years. So. Our challenge, I would think, would be us dis disguising, um, giving him looks for pre-snap, confusing him pre-snap, and giving him that 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 second that we need as the secondary or the second that the D-line needs, you know, that extra second from a disguise, him having to know if it's cover two, cover one, or cover three, you know, that can confuse him a little bit and it gives those guys up front a little extra second to, to get to where, to get to him. And um, that's, that's what I think the biggest thing we need to disguise on him. Next question from Rod Walker. Hey, DJ, um, some of the big talk this week obviously has been about Jadavian Clowney, who you played in college with. Have you, um, has he reached out to you or have you reached out to him? And also, you know, if he did become a saint, how would he fit into this defense, you feel like? Well, yeah, man, um, you know, that's my guy. He's been my longtime friend. He's been my friend since college, played together in the league as well. Uh, you know, uh, we, we looking forward to whatever. Whatever happens, man, you know, uh, you know, I know he's dealing with a lot of things right now, but um, if he does become a saint, man, that'll be huge for us. Uh, we, you know, we can we can use any great players, and you know, to use him, that'll be perfect, you know. But um, but um, we'll see, man. We'll see. Hopefully, he does, you know. But whatever he has going on, we'll we'll let the chips fall where they may. Next question from Glenn Gilbo. What do you think Leonard Fournette will bring to the uh, Tampa offense? Um, well, um, he's he's a, um, a a fierce runner. He runs hard. He runs behind his pads. Um, and you know he you know he's a he's a tough tackle um, for 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 guys as well. So you know he's going to bring some physicality to their um, offense. And um, but we'll be ready for whatever whatever the situation is on on this defense, man. Regardless of who they put back there.